Hi, it's Rob here again, and I'm back with Visual Jockey, and I'm going to show you just a couple more features. We've got on the screen at the moment some of these uh, effects. This is Twister. You can see how it's twisting the video. Uh, the background is being run through Screen Splitter, and you can see it isolates it on the right hand side you can see what screen splitter is doing particularly if I go to text 3d and that is the original text which is actually uh, something uh, just a text file it can be static text uh, or as I say just from a file and you just select the file so you could write anything um, and just make it available. Just follow your nose. Find your text file in, in Explorer and away you go. Or as I say, just write something in this box. Click OK. I mean you can play with a lot of these settings. Um, but uh, it's up to you. You can change the model quality, the boldness, the 3D depth, and by playing with it is how you'll learn and you'll stumble over some interesting effects, I'm sure. Now, uh, we're getting one of those right now, I think. These can be uh, chained, as I said in the previous video, so you just keep adding to your... Uh, array of uh, effects and if you don't like them hit delete and you get rid of them find another one uh, which is as simple as going over to the left hand side of the screen uh, and choosing one you can see it does do chroma key um, they're quite a well they're, they're just hundreds I haven't counted them it could be less than that but um, don't hand me, hold me to that. But there's certainly a lot. Roto Zoomer should work quite well, as you can see. So um, these could be titles. You could uh, write your titles up, use Text 3D, uh, change the settings, uh, change the font. I've chosen Arial Black, but it could be anything. And away you go. And uh, if you decide you don't want screen spur, fair enough. You might decide you don't want roto zoomer, fair enough. Delete, delete, delete. And uh, if that appeals to you, uh, what you end up with, then you simply go, if I can find it again, File Export Movie. Save your composition. Export as an AVI, perhaps uh, give it a, a new name. Uh, if you do have sound attached, you can uh, uh, choose AVI length by wave file or by seconds. Let's go by seconds. Uh, there's no sound here at the moment, so we'll skip what well, there is actually. There's me talking, but uh, not actually uh, within Visual Jockey. So. Uh, we don't have to skip the first 80 frames. The resolution is uh, up to you. A lot of choices. Compression or not, if you're saving with alpha, then uh, skip the compression. Uh, a range of options. You can play with all of this. Frames per second, all the usual things. And so on. I won't do that right now. But you get the idea. Well, I hope you do anyway. Very useful. Cool way to make titles. Uh, transitions, uh, endlessly variable really if you think about it. You're not stuck with the standard transitions and titles that um, came with your video editor or didn't as the case may be. Uh, instead you can make your own uh, or just make some crazy visuals. Just be creative. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time. Bye.